on to the next area. Displaying all authorised destinations. Yeah, I think I have to go Travel to route there. is confirmed. Off I go. Desert areas like this, it's just like apart from the cool little symbols, and I don't, I, I still have no idea what that is. Activate this. anything in this area that's really important. This guy. Hey, friend. If you're headed out by the Tukata, Lord Varrison is paying actual credits for bone marrow samples. Varrison's doing some sort of experiment for Lord Renning. The less details we know, the better I'm sure. Sweet. I get to kill stuff. I like getting to kill stuff. A lacking thing in the Republic. Uh -huh. I know what that is now. I don't know how I'm going to get up there though. It would seem this server is a bit full at the moment, considering everything is dead. to make sure I go up there later. Bone marrow samples. Lord Renning will be pleased. You may go. Oh, I remember this quest. A fresh young acolyte come to view my experiments. Good. I trust the sight of a messy operating table doesn't disturb you? The path to power is not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> you remind me of myself at your age. 
This used to be a toccata, the hound-like creatures infesting Korriban's tombs. On the surface, nothing special. But I alone can see this creature is an expression of pure dark side energy. Aggression made manifest. Amazing. How did you learn that? The Force told me so. It speaks to me. The Force is alive. It expresses its will in the physical world. This Tukata was one such form. Are we another of these forms? Sith are the highest manifestation of the Force's will. I've dissected hundreds of Tukata, forging a direct connection to the dark side. Each beast I examine advances me toward perfect unity. I now stand at a new frontier, but find myself thwarted. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. Perhaps I could help recover your specimen. Yes, I was hoping as much. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows, assist me, and you will be rewarded. I'll speak with Malora and do whatever is necessary, my lord. You found a great calling in my service. I trust you appreciate that. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. That fool's research is pointless. Not a very loyal apprentice, are you? He's my master in title only. He has nothing to teach anyone about the dark side of the Force. Renning deludes the Dark Council into believing he's advancing Sith knowledge. The truth is, he wastes the Empire's time and resources dissecting mindless animals. But if his experiments were discredited, he would be banished, and I would be rewarded. Tell the Dark Council he's insane. I'm sure they'd listen. <laughs> Don't be naive. The Dark Council would never believe the word of an apprentice over her master. Look. Just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. We'll see, if I have time. You'll earn rewards from both the master and his apprentice. It's a better deal. The mutant Tukata escaped to the tomb of Mark of Ragnos. It's much larger than the others, so it's easy to spot. Return to me with the brain before you see Lord Renning, and I'll take care of the rest. Uh, I have done this before. I wanted to get on that. Is he going to hurry up and come back down, or...? Fun. Go up. Go up. 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 Bunny, 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 bunny. One. This should make life easier for getting back to. At your service, my lord. Travel route is confirmed. Oh. Oops. I hate late waiting for the lifts on this game. It's irritating. This quest here, because I knew it was here. Sergeant Garrus. Turns out the rumours were true. Some of the sentries we lost down here aren't dead. They lost their minds, just like the Acolytes. Doesn't mean we're going to have any easier a time getting the research supplies back, though. The crates are secured with multi-locks. If we're going to open these things without frying the contents, we'll need to get all the sentries' code cylinders back. I don't think negotiation is an option. The men aren't keen to take down their old comrades, but we'll do what we can. Once we have the code cylinders, we'll crack open the supply crates and get back. Take one out.
a whole car. Yes, it is. Let me just make sure I've got a bit of space. Warrior earlier t last night, late last night, and basically I had a full inventory and I from it. From it. I showed up in my inventory and I didn't get any boosts or anything, so I can only imagine that. Like I said, this game is better done in the dual camp because A, you can play the game a little bit better, it's a little bit more fun, and B, I, I don't really have anything to talk about where I'm going to talk about it. Personally, I do like the game a lot, it's a brilliant game. Um, the graphics are excellent, there's only a few bugs, uh, obviously there are bugs because it's a, a new game and for the size of the game there will be bugs no matter what, uh, but all in all it's a really good game to play so if you're thinking of getting it definitely go out and get it. If you have the money you definitely buy it because it's worth playing. And you get a month free as well, so if you're if you do go get it, at least that way if you don't like it, you can take it you just don't get it. Plus they should bring out an official trial version soon. Let's grab all the items. And take any of that because basically you don't need it. And there's not much point in grabbing all the The next one, you can see all the people that I've not completely looted. It's a bit annoying, really. I 
know it's my luck. I've killed enough of these guys now, haven't I? I just need to get them out of my way now. I need to get a cylinder. Plus, the thing this game has all the world of Warcraft, which is not really The gear doesn't look crap. I, I mean, the gear I've got on looks pretty amazing. Whereas, like on World of Warcraft, when you first start the game, you all the gear that you're wearing just it looks crap, basically. Which is why I, I really like. Pretty damn <laughs> and it's enjoyable. I mean, the only thing that doesn't look good is the training sword, but I can get over that because I know I'm going to get my lightsaber every level ten. Fading to cover. Kill bastard. The only thing that I'm missing really don't need that. So I need to first get some bait. Collect a plunk clog lava bait. I'll just let this guy do it and then I will be back in a second. 